Hi, I'm Jeff with Move For Guitar. This lesson is from our series, Music Theory for Guitar. In this lesson, we're going to take an in-depth look at the Aeolian mode. First off, if you like the diagrams for everything in this series, including the diagrams for this lesson, you can download our free e-guide, Music Theory for Guitar. And this e-guide will be something that you can study and use as a reference for years to come. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to just go download it. This is part 5.9 from our series, Music Theory for Guitar. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So, so far we've looked at the first mode of the major scale, the Ionian mode, the second, the Dorian mode, the third, the Phrygian mode, the fourth, the Lydian mode, the fifth, the Mixolydian mode, and now we're on the sixth mode, the Aeolian mode. And as you should remember from a previous lesson, if you've come through all these lessons, if you followed along, the Aeolian mode is the exact same as the relative minor, the pure minor, or the natural minor. All those terms are interchangeable for the most part. And again, we're looking at everything in parallel, so we're going to have the same root as we have for all the other modes. And I'm keeping it in G, so all these roots will be Gs, and we'll build it from there. So first off, to get to the Aeolian mode, we're going to do it from the Dorian mode. What's on your screen right now is the Dorian mode in G. And that's because the Aeolian mode is only one note different, one interval different from the Dorian mode. So to get from the Dorian mode to the Aeolian mode, you lower the 6 one half step to the flat six. And that's the only difference between the Dorian mode and the Aeolian mode. So the Aeolian mode is root two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. And as you remember, the Dorian mode is the exact same, except that it's a major six instead of a flat six. So that's where you just lower that six half a step and you'll get to the Aeolian mode. Or if we look at it compared to the Ionian mode, the major scale, because that's where all the flats come from, you would take the three flat at half a step, the six flat at half a step, and the seven and flat at half a step, and that would give you your Aeolian mode from the Ionian mode. But it's easier just to think about it from Dorian. If you know Dorian is root two, flat three, four, five, six, flat seven, all you have to think about is lowering the six half a step. And what makes the Aeolian mode unique from the other minor modes is that it has a major second and a minor sixth. It's the only one that has that because the Dorian mode had a major second and a major sixth, and the Phrygian mode had a minor second and a minor sixth. And the sound that's created with these intervals is a dark minor sound. It's not as dark as the Phrygian, and it doesn't have as worldly of a sound as the Phrygian, because the Phrygian with that flat two creates a very Spanish flamenco or Middle Eastern sound. Since the Aeolian has a major second, it's a little more consonant sounding, but it still has that minor six, so it's darker than the Dorian mode. And the avoid note with the Aeolian mode is the flat six. So that's a note that you don't want to rest on usually. It's going to sound like it wants to resolve somewhere. It doesn't want to stay on that flat six because it's pretty dissonant. And that's because of the distance between the five and the six. And you know that a minor triad, if you're playing this over a minor chord, is root, flat, three, five. And when you play that flat six with that perfect fifth in there, it's a minor second interval, so it's pretty dissonant, and that's why it's an avoid note. But again, avoid doesn't mean don't play it, it just means not to rest on it usually. It's going to be too dissonant. But that flat six along with the major second or major ninth is the sound of the Aeolian mode, so don't be afraid to really emphasize that flat six. Just usually don't stay on it for too long. So again, just like with all the other modes, take one chord and play the mode up and down over it to listen to all the intervals. And if you're playing G Aeolian, take a G minor chord and just play each note over the G minor chord slowly. So play the scale up and down slowly over the chord and listen to each of the intervals, really get the sound in your head. And then you can do the same thing with the G minor seven. You can play this over G minor seven and listen to it. And of course, just like always, the root and third and fifth, and in this case, root flat three five are your most stable intervals. They're the ones that you can really rest on. It's going to sound good, but again, they're your most vanilla. They're not going to bring out the sound of this mode. So really emphasize the flat six along with the major second if you want to get the sound of the Aeolian mode. And again, just like always, play each of the minor modes over these chords. So if you're playing in the key of G, Play, take a G minor chord, play the G Dorian scale up and down over it, 
Same with the G minor 7, you can do it for both chords. And then do it with the G Phrygian and then the G Aeolian. And that's going to really help you recognize the sounds of these modes and what makes them different from each other. Because when you're just soloing over one minor chord or a minor 7 chord, you can use any of the minor modes. They all work over minor or minor 7 because they all have a root flat 3 five and a flat seven which creates minor with the root flat three five that's a minor triad and then with the flat seven is minor seven and again when you're doing it that's over a static chord meaning that there's no other harmony going on just a minor or a minor seven and no other instruments are playing notes outside of these scales that's when you're going to be able to play all these modes over it and hear the difference and then once you do it with the minor triad and the minor seven you can do it for any of the six chords any of the chords we built off the sixth note of the major scale and do the same thing and really listen to the sound of the aeolian mode so now we've added the aeolian mode to this chart and it's root two flat three four five flat six flat seven so the only difference between this and the dorian mode like i said is that you lower the six by half a step but again all the minor modes create minor triads and minor seventh chords so every minor mode creates those chords which you should remember from the lessons where we built those chords and then the avoid note is the flat six but again that doesn't mean don't play it it just means you're not going to usually want to just land on it and stay on it you're going to want to resolve it to somewhere it wants to go somewhere to move off of that note and then the parent major scale is the flat three so if we are looking at this, this would be your parent major scale, the flat three, which your whole step, whole step, half step. And if this was G A Olean, which is what's drawn on the screen, you'd have G A B flat C D E flat F, and your B flat would be the parent major scale. So G A Olean, the parent major scale is B flat. And since the Aeolian mode is the same as the relative minor, B flat major scale g minor is the relative minor or vice versa g minor b flat is the relative major and then the unique character of the aeolian mode is the natural two or the major second with the flat six like i said the dorian has the major six with the natural second or major second and the phrygian has the flat two so it's the only one that has a major second and a minor six and with all those intervals together, the color it creates is a dark minor sound. But it's not as dark as the Phrygian mode and not as worldly of a sound. It doesn't create that Spanish or Middle Eastern type world sound. Then again, we've taken this chart and made Aeolian the root. So these are all the keys of Aeolian. So here's F sharp Aeolian, G Aeolian. And we were looking at G Aeolian on that chart. So G Aeolian is G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and the parent major scale is B flat. And then of course we've rearranged everything up here. So now it's whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. So that's the sixth mode of the major scale, the Aeolian mode. Go ahead and move on to the next lesson where we're going to look at the seventh and final mode of the major scale, the Locrian mode. And download the e-guide. All these diagrams are in there. And be sure to subscribe because we have at least one new lesson every day.